What's up guys? How you guys doing today? So I never even noticed this before, but I guess my parents put like blinds in my room. So now I can close the blinds and I won't be blinded at like 8 a.m. every single morning by the light. And I, that actually wakes me up half the time. So that's probably one of the main reasons why I don't get enough sleep is because I go to bed late and then I wake up super early because that bright light is fucking shining in my face the whole time. So now I have some blinds that I can actually close that, so that's good. But I have a pretty good amount of stuff to do today. I have to get a haircut. I have to pack as well because we're going to Puerto Rico tomorrow. We're going to be there for a couple days, and then right after that, I head back to L.A. for, like, the rest of the month. And then early October, I come back home in New Jersey. And I'm also getting my stitches out today for my hand. So that should be an interesting video for you guys. I hope it doesn't hurt that much. I've never had stitches before. The only things that I've ever had were staples. And they actually get a staple gun and fucking staple you. It's crazy. When that happened, I actually got drop kicked into a table by my sister. We were running around a table. And she kind of like, I don't know exactly how she did it. But I ended up ramming right into the table. My head cracked open. We got to the hospital and they said that I needed staples in my head. And at the time, my mom just thought, oh, that's another word for stitches. Yeah, well, it wasn't. They got a fucking legit staple gun and stapled my head in. It hurt like a bitch. I think it hurt more than me actually fucking getting my head cracked open. And then when I got them out, it wasn't even any better. They had to fucking wiggle the staples out. But I've never actually had stitches before besides one time when I was a little kid on my eyebrow. That's why I have like a, uh, like a little scar right here. But I don't remember what they feel like getting out, so this should be interesting. So you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck in this instance? And I'm kinda the same way right now. So I'm supposed to be leaving tomorrow for Puerto Rico, and I don't even have my flight confirmation yet. So I don't know what the hell the holdup is. I've been talking uh, to my manager, trying to figure it out. See, what was originally happening is we weren't 100% sure if I was gonna be able to make it to Puerto Rico because of my whole hand instance and everything that's been going on with the therapy, the stitches, I had to get surgery. So we just weren't sure if I was gonna be able to make it. So we told them to hold off with the ticket for right now until we figure everything out. And it is now last minute and we're trying to get the ticket. So hopefully everything goes good and I get it soon. I just have no idea when I'm supposed to be leaving yet. So I could be leaving tonight at 1 a.m. in the morning. Like, I don't know. So my appointment for this is at 10.45 today. And it's already like 10.10. So I don't think I have enough time to eat. So I'm going to head out now. All right, Lizzie, you want to know the plan for today? Doctors. Stuff. Doctors, mm -hmm. food, haircut. Pack my stuff. I'm not getting a haircut. You are. No, I do. I was touching my hair. I need to pick up grandmom's medicine. I have to jump on a business call today at 5. Vlog goes up at 4. What else am I going to do? Find out when we're supposed to leave because you have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just explained that. I don't know. I have a lot of stuff to do. I can't even think of all of it. I, I know I have a few more things that I have to do. Damn, I definitely need to clean this car. I just got to get some water and soap and clean it off. Because there's all these watermarks right now. So this usually happens to me, but I don't know if it's from me or if it's from Lizzie. But look at my seat. Listen. There is deodorant stains all over. That is from over. you. I don't wear white deodorant. I wear a clear roll-on. That is disgusting. Well, you just got to rub it off. Yeah. Why was your arm over here? I don't think it was me. It was not It me. had to be somebody else because I did not, like, I don't sit there. It's not me. I can tell you that because I wear the clean And it's roll like on. over here and shit too. Like there's like wet stains. It's probably Frank or somebody. I don't know. I just noticed it now. <laughs> Alright, we just got here. Let's go All in there right. and see what happens. Okay guys, so I was actually pretty sure that this was going to happen. So I brought a backup shirt. So, they said that while taking my stitches out, there might be a little bit of blood. And I really don't want to stain this shirt right now. So I brought the black shirt that I was wearing yesterday. I just put it in my car. It was a dirty shirt already, so I was like, fuck it. Let me bring this really quick. So I'm going to throw that shirt on and then just switch back to this after. This way, I can just be 100% sure that I'm not going to get any blood on the shirt. Because if it gets on the black shirt, it's better than showing up on like a gray. All right, we just got in the doctor's room. Back on this little padded bed. All right, guys, I'm getting them taken out right now. I just got this one taken out. Alrighty guys, just got my stitches out. Looking pretty good. There's a ton of dried blood, so it's probably not too pleasing to the eye right now for you guys. Your pinky looks huge. I know, it's swollen. That one's so tiny and that one's huge. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys can see that little writing on my pinky, that was actually right as I was getting the surgery. I guess he put his initial or his, like the first letter of his name on it. <laughs> looks like a heart. Yeah, it kind of looks like a heart. Alrighty, guys. We just wrapped that up. I got back in the car and I changed my shirt. There was no blood, so that is good. But things are looking pretty good. I got the stitches out and um, 
I also did a little bit of therapy today, so I have some movement even more into the finger, which is great. So we were both hungry, and on the way home we saw a McDonald's, so we just stopped here really quick. We're gonna grab some food. Not a healthy choice, but whatever. I'm hungry. <laughs> so at this McDonald's, they actually give you one of these buzzer things to let you know when your food is done. That's pretty crazy. I've never seen a McDonald's do that before. Usually, like, restaurants do that. Yeah, we always get that when we go to Olive Garden because they're always packed. Yeah, I know. Uh, there we go. It's starting to go off now. Just wrapped up eating, now I'm gonna try and get my hair cut. I'm probably gonna have to wait there for like an hour. You coming with me? Yeah, but I'm at 10%, so this is great. 10% battery? <laughs> yeah. I've had this constant throbbing pain in my pinky all this morning, and I actually got woken up by it too, because like it was so bad. It just keeps fucking throbbing and hurting. I don't know, I know it's a good sign, but like it, it fucking kills me. Run, Boris, run! I'm coming, Jenna! <laughs> I just have to stop back at the house really quick because I never carry cash on me and the barber shop they only accept cash So I have to grab some cash really quick now. We're gonna head over there Bruh, are you kidding me? This is the second time I've come here and they've been closed when I really needed a haircut Well, it looks like I'm fucked for Puerto Rico Closed on Tuesdays. That's so weird. Yeah, it's random as hell shit. Alrighty. Well, I guess I'll just get a haircut when I get back to LA cuz I'm fucked. No, you'll get a haircut today. I, where? We'll find somewhere. Lance, I'm not going to like a, a random. I know. I'm not going to like a random ass hair cutter. Go to Martino. So I just called up my buddy Martino, and you guys probably seen him before. He's been on like HSN and a bunch of different networks for like hair products and stuff like that. He's gonna be able to hook me up today. I told him I'm leaving for Puerto Rico tomorrow. He's actually on a flight back home right now. He's getting on a flight. He said he's in Tampa right now, and then he has to come back home and he's gonna go to a funeral. And I was like, oh, dude, you don't gotta rush and like try and fit me in. He's like, no, nah, I got you, man. I'll do it when I come back. Back home from the funeral. I feel bad, um, but he said he's gonna hook me up, so thank you, Martino. So I just got my flight information, and we actually leave tomorrow at 9:30 a.m., which means we probably should be at the airport around 7 a.m., just so we're safe and we make sure we get on our flight and nothing goes wrong. Okay, guys, so we just ran into another issue. Now, the people who booked my flight booked it for Newark, New Jersey, which is two hours away from me, which means I would have to go to the Newark airport which is two hours away. Now, I already have to wake up super early because this flight leaves at 9 a.m., which means I have to be there around 7. So I probably have to wake up around 5. So if I was to go to Newark Airport, I would have to leave my house at like 3 a.m. and drive two hours there. That is not gonna happen, so we're trying to get the situation figured out. That's crazy. See, this is what happens. They send us the flight information last minute, and then we have no time to change anything, so I hope everything gets situated. Alright, so we just got a word from them. Basically, what happened is they couldn't book it out of Philadelphia because there's no direct flights to Puerto Rico from Philadelphia Airport, and the layovers are insanely long at that airport. So, what we gotta do is they're gonna send over a town car at 5 a.m. to pick us up and drive us over to Newark Airport. So, I guess that's the plan. Lizzie's been editing her video for like 15 minutes now, and she's only edited 17 seconds. 17 <laughs> minutes? Oh, no. No, that's seconds! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well anyway, this is probably gonna take three hours to do, so I'm just gonna pass out for right now. You know what, Lance? Leave me alone. <laughs> so while Lizzie's editing, me and Grandmom have to go to Walgreens really quick. Grandmom asked me to pick up her medicine for her, but we'll just go there together. Because I also have to grab a few things. I have to buy a new brush for my hair, and I have to buy a new product for my hair so I can put the paste in there and do my hair correctly. Because I actually ran out recently. And then there's just a few little things that I have to get for traveling purposes. And then we're going to hit the post office. But I'm going to be driving my mom's car today. I want to test it out and see how it rides. You ready, Grandma? Ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> I'm mocking you now because I know what you're going to say. Oh. We're going to take mom's car. Cool. I've never driven it yet. Let's try it out. Oh, they're taking a new one. Yeah, the BMW. Oh, sure. <laughs> nice in here, isn't it, Grandma? Beautiful. Cozy. All right, guys, this car drives so smoothly. You like it, Grandma? Yes, I do. I'm going to put it in sports mode for you. <laughs> All right, so I put it in sports mode. It is a little faster, but the cool thing is I think I just heard turbo, and I didn't think this car had turbo in it. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try it out again. Oh, come on, Lance. Slow the fuck Yeah. Down. Like, I feel like I hear turbo. That's sweet. This is a cool thing about BMWs as well is to park it, you just have to push this button. And it's parked. That's it. Is it? Ain't that cool, Graham? Yeah, sure is. Back at your favorite store. Yeah, I haven't given you in a while. What do you gotta get? 
Uh, a few things for like hair products and stuff like that. No, I'm Alright. I was super curious if that car actually had a turbo in it because I heard it. I was like, what the hell? I didn't know this car was turboed. So I looked it up and it actually is. So that's pretty cool. So this is what I'm getting. I need a brush, I need deodorant, and I got some hair paste. We just got out of Walgreens. Lizzie called me and said she's done editing her video and she, and she really wants to go to the post office with us. So I'm going to pick her up really quick and we'll head there. We just picked up Lizzie. I just tried the launch control in this car and it's honestly not that quick. <laughs> it's still pretty cool though that they have a launch control in this car. You guys know how me and Lizzie both tried those Oreos yesterday, the Swedish Fish Oreos, and we absolutely hated them. We thought they were terrible. Grandmom just said she loved it. Yes, I only ate one, but it was great. Ew. And Mom liked it. Sabrina liked them too. No way. Oh my god, yeah, they're better than the regular Oreos. What? I don't yes. understand that. I don't like it. Because I hate the regular Oreos. I think it's a weird flavor. Oh, I think it's good. Matter of opinion. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see if we got any mail. All right, guys, this is the mail for today. If these wheels weren't blacked out, I don't think this car would look as good as it should. It's nice. My mom just called me, and my sister wanted a shake from Wawa, so I'm gonna go in there really quick and grab that. Grandma didn't want to come in, so she's just chilling in the car. All righty, let's open some fan mail. This is from Lynn N. We have a mug. I didn't fart. My ass blew you a kiss. <laughs> That's funny. So it looks like we got some clothes in here. I guess this is a romper. We got a scarf. Another scarf. I guess this is another scarf as well. Then we got a package for Lizzie. We got one for Sabrina. And one for my mom. Awesome. This is from David, your Canadian fan. Thank you, David. Let's check out what's in here. Vital gummy brains. 2.2 pound bag and a gift box. Oh, that's pretty sweet. These look amazing. That's really good. Awesome. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. Milk chocolate chip. Oh, oh 12 cookies? Sweet. Yummy. We love cookies. This is from Joe Befans in Chicago, Illinois. Thank you. Dude, this lollipop is fucking huge. Oh my gosh. Chupa Chupa Mega Chops. I never seen one that big in my life. Oh my god. That's a big ass fucking lollipop. Holy hell. <laughs> You're gonna suck on it, Grandma. I ain't deep through. <laughs> what? What, Grandma? There's no letter, it just says gigantic lollipop, thank you. And here we got a Corvette sign, that's pretty cool. This is from Preston Coomer. We also have a Genuine Parts Chevrolet poster, thank you. And then our last box, Doritos Dynamite, Chili Lyman, that's pretty cool. This is from Claudia, this is her favorite snack. I'll definitely try these out, thank you. We're all gonna try these cookies out right now, they actually look pretty good. You like it? It's good. I love chocolate chip cookies. And they're soft serve. Mm -hmm. They're very good. Yes, they are. <laughs> so I'm trying to update my phone to iOS 10 right now, but unfortunately, a lot of people are having issues with the new update. They're saying that it's bricking their phone and putting it into recovery mode, and they're unable to get it out of recovery mode, which sucks. So I hope that doesn't happen to me. I'm gonna let you guys know what happened. There we go, updating right now. So far, so good. Just updated my iPhone. I had no problems with it. I think a lot of the issues were coming from when people tried to update it through Wi-Fi and not plugging it in directly into their computer and iTunes. But mine is good, so. No problems here. So this is on a new update and I just tried this out. So if you raise your phone and look at you, it turns on and you put it back down and it doesn't anymore. That's so sweet. That's a cool feature. So my vlog just went up for today and somebody said posted one minute ago. I guess Lance's dad finished the video already. That's funny. <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to do your wash? Get ready for Puerto Rico, boy. So we're gonna take the suitcase upstairs right now. I'm gonna get my stuff packed and then Liz is gonna pack hers as well We're only gonna take one suitcase We don't need to take multiples because we're going right back to LA after and we both have clothes there, so yep. we're good And we're only there for two weeks and I have plenty of clothes there for two weeks Sounds good. So I just got my stuff packed and now I'm about to jump on my business call for the next hour Right after that we're gonna eat dinner grandma's making it right now and then I will try and get my hair cut. Just got off the call. It actually lasted about 40 minutes instead of an hour. I should be calling Martino in probably the next 20 minutes or so, and we'll see what's going on. What's up, boy? Oh, what's that sound? Is that the vet? Yeah, my dad's taking out the vet. Where are you going? Parking. Oh, you're parking it? No. I got to drop my Did you drive it or no? Okay, guys. So me and Lizzie have an entire bag of malic acid right here. We are gonna be trying this out. We're gonna do this challenge. You're supposed to take a tablespoon and eat a tablespoon of this stuff. Um, it's gonna be so bad. If you guys don't know what malic acid is, it's basically the sour stuff that's on warheads and sour skittles and stuff like that. But this is it in its purest form. And I'm gonna be cringing like crazy, I already know. My mouth is already watering. Yeah, all right, let's try this out. 
Can this stuff really make you bleed? Yeah. No, she I bleed. can't bleed. If you eat enough of this stuff, it'll scrape your like so, tongue and roof of your mouth and make you bleed. It's so rough. Yeah. So one tablespoon won't do that, right? Maybe it could. Oh. I just want to like dip my Here. finger in. What it looks like, guys. No, you're not allowed to taste it until you do the full tablespoon. That's not fair. I know you want to stick your finger in so you can taste it. Just, just taste it a no, little. No. Yeah, just a tad. No. No. That's not fair. I want to see if it actually tastes good for like I know it is. Ready? There's a little bit. Ah! So this is definitely gonna make our teeth hurt more than the Oh other my stuff. gosh. Just a little bit is fucking so strong. I'm not calling 911. You're not calling 911 girl? Gonna die. <laughs> we have our phones. We'll just scream to them and try to tell them what's wrong. <laughs> I'm not my I'm nervous. I'm so like nervous. <laughs> Ready? One. Wait, what do you mean? You're gonna just go down or are you going with three? three? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Three. 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 Try it's malic acid. Sabrina just came out. Sure. Holy hell! Wait, what's that? Wait, hold on. What's malic acid? The sour, sour stuff Come that here. goes all around. No, candy. not that much. No, you gotta do a table. No. Yeah, no, it's the challenge. You have to. Just eat that. Ready? Go. Three, two, one. Go. The whole thing. Go. <laughs> oh, you didn't even leave it in there for two seconds. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Ew, look at all this foam. I can't feel my tongue. I can't feel my tongue when I'm eating malic acid. Yeah, that was stupid. Um, my teeth hurt. My teeth are killing me. They're so sensitive. They're like, like gritty. Doesn't it feel like your nerves are killed on your tongue? Like your taste buds, you can't taste anything? It, does my tongue look different? No, it's just really white. Okay. Isn't that terrible? No, Geo. No, Geo can't eat that. <laughs> that stuff actually made me cry. Holy hell. It's so bad. I don't think anybody else on this earth does stuff like this. For the I, heck of it. I know, like who funny. eats that stuff? It's so it's so bad in its natural form. It feels like my mouth has like this really weird sweet taste to it right now. And I can't taste anything else besides that. My teeth are hurting. It feels like I have like 20 cavities in my mouth. I'm getting that feeling on one of my molars again that I have like, a, like it's almost like a cavity feeling. If you guys want to see us do some more stupid challenges like this shit, give this video a like and maybe I'll think of some other cool stuff that we can do. Maybe we'll even do that mad dog hot sauce, which is like 9 million Scoville units. But you guys would have to absolutely destroy the thumbs up button. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about like 150,000 thumbs up for me to even consider doing that. Do what? The mad dog 9 million Scoville units. Ah! Yeah, you need 200,000 likes for that. They did 2.2 million Scoville units on the Carolina Reaper pepper, which is the hottest pepper in the world. The Mad Dog is 9 million Scoville units. It is, it is the hottest hot sauce in the entire world. Yeah, like, I'm saying like 200,000 likes, I would need to fucking do that shit. Lizzie's trying to clean this malic acid up right now. Well, if Geo gets this, that will not be pretty. Well, hey, we can make our own sour candies now. There we go. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do to you? What? I'm gonna mix the powder from uh, the funnel cake. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, I just thought of the funniest thing. We do the hot sauce mixed with the malic acid. You can do that by yourself, Liz. I don't know who. 
Ask Cody to do it with you. I will not do that. Yeah, it would That's be pretty bad. Much. What'd you say? I said I do not like this taste in my mouth. It doesn't go away, right? It's still there. It's like I it's, can't even describe this. It's taste. so like bitter and sweet it's at like the same iron, time. Iron in my mouth. Is like blood? Weird? Yeah. It's probably blood. <laughs> Okay, this is the weirdest thing ever. Before I even tell Lizzie what it tastes like, I just want her to take a sip. Oh, so we have a glass of water right here. Just taste it. What does this taste like did to you? you? Do I did nothing to it. It's regular water. Doesn't it taste sweet? I was just about. It tastes sweet. Like it's I don't so like, you're sweet. You're positive this is just water. I swear to God. I swear. I did not do a single thing to it. Is it doesn't it taste sweet? Like it's not even a good kind of sweet. It's just like. It's weird. It kind of tastes like, I don't even know. I don't know. But I guess it's like a permanent taste in my mouth until, I should probably like eat crackers or something, try and get it out. Uh, yeah, that was not a good idea. I just tried eating some crackers and my teeth are hurting so bad. It definitely feels like I have a cavity of some sort right now. I can't even chew food without my mouth hurting. There you go, you got it, girl. Get that hose in. Reel it in. Whip it. Reel. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Yo, I just tried biting a cracker and it feels like my teeth are gonna break apart. Mm, why do we do this before Puerto Rico? What if they have really good food we wanna try? No, I mean, we should, to taste it. <laughs> we should be good by tomorrow, but it's bad right now. Oh, Gio. Why can't you just pick it up? What do you mean? I just saw the poop right here. Gio, why you keep pooping inside? Okay, so I just got off the phone with Martino. He said we're good to come by within the next hour, so I'm getting my hair cut today, definitely. Thank gosh, I really needed it. But right now, me and Lizzie have to go over to AT&T. She has to do something for her phone, and then we should be good to get my hair cut. So we just got over to the mall, and look at this. My Audi, there's a TT right there, and there's another Audi. All the Audis parked in the back. <laughs> we literally just left my house, and Frank gives me a call, and I was like, where are you at? And he said he's at my house. He comes over to my house whenever I'm not there. <laughs> so we're just gonna do whatever she needs to do at AT&T really quick, and then we'll head back home for a little bit until I have to get my hair cut. All right, so that went well. We left the mall, Lizzie figured out everything she has to do for her phone. Now we're gonna head back home, say hi to Frank, and then probably end up leaving pretty soon to go get my hair cut. What's going on, kid? What's up? I can't, I still can't. There we go. <laughs> so you guys know that we did the malic acid earlier with the tablespoon. I was like, Frank, you're gonna do this. And I just got this stuff and brought him a tablespoon. He's like, I didn't even agree to it. And I, I'm like, all right, you're just gonna do it anyway. <laughs> what is it, like a powder? Bro, it's the sour stuff on candies. I didn't in know it pure was like form. a powder. Yeah. I thought it was more like, I don't know, gelatin-like. Mm -mm. It's sour, dude. Uh. Lizzie's getting him a cup of water right now, just in case. <laughs> Here's a cup of when you need to spit. <laughs> no, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even leave it in there that long. Not at all. We did it longer than that. That's like Sabrina. <coughs> it's in the back of my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. Swish it around. Yeah. Alright, it's not that bad anymore. Yeah, if you left it in there as long as I did, bro, it feels like I have cavities in my mouth. Yeah, it tastes like my mouth after the, uh, the, water, the warhead, the warhead challenge. challenge. Yeah. Now watch my this. My mouth is so watery right now. Taste the water. Taste the water. It's going to be so sweet and you're going to be confused. Seriously? Mm -hmm. It's just water. Unless you didn't leave it in long enough to tell. Does it taste sweet? Yeah. Doesn't it feel, it's, it's like really weird. weird. And it stays like that for like an hour at least, dude. I, I feel like if I grab a drink right now, it's still going to feel like that. Yeah, me too. I was just about to ask That you. makes water really enjoyable. <laughs> I don't know. It's just super sweet. Do oh. your teeth hurt? Mine do. It's just everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I got you to try it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm not like really one to uh, back Sit. down from a challenge. Yeah. Well, that one you failed at. I think everybody does, though. Oh, yeah. Th it's impossible to have a whole tablespoon of that. In Imagine mouth. eating the entire bag. Dude, you'd probably lose all, lose all your teeth. <laughs> Dude, my mouth just hurts. I know. My teeth are Mine's like still doing it's like an hour later. Ah. All right, guys, so these are my shitty shoes. I just wear these whenever I just don't feel like wearing any other shoes, I guess. I don't know, whenever I'm, like, running around in mud and shit like that. My mom's getting so mad right now. She's telling me to throw the shoes out. Because they're trash. 
They're trash. It reminds me of when you were little and I go, come on, Lance, we're going to buy new shoes. I don't need new shoes, Mom. There's nothing wrong with these. Meanwhile, the bottoms are falling off. Yeah. I can buy you like five pairs of sneakers at one time. And I just wear one pair. I'm only wearing one pair. You can buy me as many as you want, but I'm not wearing them. And that's exactly what you would do. I'd like throw them out. I mean, not anymore. I don't yeah, do that. Yeah, but then they need to go to the I know, guys. I would literally have the flaps, like the bottoms of my shoes coming off. <laughs> like you were a porper. It used to piss me off. We'd be all dressed down places and your freaking shoes were falling apart. <laughs> Okay guys, just got the text from Martino. Let's head out now and get my hair cut. I just got to Martino's and look at this. He's got a Murcielago. This thing is badass. Woo! Yo, it's so loud. So I just came in here for the first time in a couple months and they redid a lot of stuff. It's beautiful in here, man. We just got named top 20 in the country, bro. What is it? Top 20 in the country. We just got named Modern Salon. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. If you guys want to check out this place, it's Martino Cartier Salon, Washington Township, New Jersey. So I just got to get my hair washed really quick and then we'll start cutting it. Martino is the only non-barber that I trust. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we'll, we'll do a two on the sides, leave the top growing, and then okay. we'll try to like fade out the back. Thick up here, man. I know. I'm trying to grow it like a couple more inches. It's gonna look awesome. All right, <laughs> money shot. Martino remembers when I was balding. Remember that, man? <laughs> yeah, not anymore though. Yeah, it's starting to grow back. It's That's good. good. PRP. <laughs> yeah, the Propecia. Yeah. No, no, I didn't oh, do the PRP. Do the, that's just from Propecia. Yeah, the PRP is when you get like needles in your head. Yeah. And, it, and I did it. Yeah, it's working good for him. But your hair looks good now. Yeah, thanks, bro. So far, so good, guys. I desperately needed this, so thank you, Martino. Yeah, man, anytime. Always coming in clutch. <laughs> My hair is looking so good right now. Look, I don't even got product in it yet. It still oh, yeah. looks good. <laughs> hey. So Martino actually has this little charity event that's coming up in New Jersey. You want to explain it? Yeah, it's called A Night of Wigs and Wishes. Uh, October 23rd, we got Paul Abdul. We grant wishes for kids with cancer. We do free wigs for women going through chemotherapy. So for more information, visit wigsandwishes.org. There you go, guys. Thanks, man. Check it out. Come by if you want to see everything going on. It's going to be pretty fun. Okay, guys. So you see here, October 23rd, 5 p.m., wigsandwishes.org. I'm actually going to try my best to show up. Hopefully, I can meet a lot of you guys there. Martino's a really good guy. He's always hooking me up when I need a haircut. And it's like last minute too that I always message him. He always comes in clutch. But look at these Lambo doors, man. We got a train crossing. We literally just made it. If we were like a minute or two earlier, we would have been good. That was like the longest train ever. I know. That's like a good five minutes of a train passing. We're good. You launch controlling it? So that malic acid stuff was under Lizzie's finger now and she went to go touch her eye without realizing it was under there still and it got in her eye and it's burning like fucking crazy right now. I can't see out of its eye. It's completely blurry. Damn, that sucks. Uh, can't even imagine what that feels like. Mm. So I just got back home and I'm super hungry so I wanted to go get some food. I asked Frank and Sabrina if they want to get something. You're going to take me to dinner? Yeah, I'm going to take you out. Okay. <laughs> We're all going to go grab some Applebee's real quick. And uh, you like my hair? 
Yeah. You can't really tell. It's no, kind of I dark. finally saw it when we went under the light. I yeah. love this feeling in the back. Oh, like right too. here. Get the out of here. Frank was trying to feel it. <laughs> so Frank still has these gummies in his car from when we went over to Washington DC for Playlist Live. Lizzie's eating them. She tells me she can't taste anything still. I try one. I can't taste anything. Nothing. I'm not even gonna be able to enjoy my food. What the <laughs> hell, man? And my teeth still hurt. Like the juice yet? Try chewing the gum. I chewed gum for like an hour at, uh -huh. like immediately after, and it's way better. Would you hurt yourself? Yeah. Yeah, where's that I gum hit at? My boob. <laughs> what? I hit my boob. Your teeth are sensitive? So are mine. I just tried this mint gum and I don't taste it. I, really? I can't bite it. It hurts my teeth. Oh, God. I don't taste it. Please, no hospital. Oh, it's hurt my teeth, though. Yeah. Just kind of like rub it on your teeth. Don't like bite. You know? No, that malic acid fucked my shit up, bro. Yeah. It's bad. Frank's driving so recklessly right now, and there's an old couple in the car in front of us, and they're like, what the fuck is going on? Blame Lizzie. She told me not to take the t turn sharp. I, uh, <laughs> and then he fucking took it sharp as shit, sliding all over the road. All right, let's go in there and get some food, guys. <laughs> Frank starts laughing. He comes over and, like, caresses my ass. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? He actually ended up picking something off of it. It's... It's like foam that came out of one of my gun cases. Not really? <laughs> yeah, it was just sticking to my butt. So somehow my sister got her steak meal without us even getting our appetizers yet. Like I ordered quesadillas. I hope they don't bring anything, everything I want. If they do, if they... Oh, I, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Just go. Okay. I was gonna say, if I... I hate when that happens, dude. Like somebody tells you to go and you just... Okay, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> I swear, if they bring my quesadillas the same time they bring my meal, I'm just telling them to bring the quesadillas back. Okay, there we go. We got our quesadillas and chips now. My only question is, how do you how make steak? steak come out before chips and salsa? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It's fake. It's fake meat. It's rabbit meat. Yep. Rabbit meat. Rabbit. How's that rabbit taste? <laughs> Yo, Frank, guess what? What's up? Oh. <laughs> Yo, we just let them out simultaneously. Did you even hear mine? That was yours? Was that yours? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was weird. I, I had a feeling he was going to fight at the same time. <laughs> I just knew it. Ew, you're so nasty. <laughs> Sabrina's That's recording me. goals right there. Yeah. Ew. Ew. You should hear what my sister's saying right now. We're talking about farts. And my, my sister was like, you know those farts you get when it just turns into wet shit? <laughs> She said she's kidding. Okay. All right. I know, I <laughs> she's only I kidding when the camera the comes out. All the time. What? <laughs> Everyone just gets quiet. <laughs> so we just got back home and I got a shower. But right now we're trying to get all this stuff cleaned up in the pool table room. All the boxes and the trash. There's trash everywhere. Got some trash bags. Frank's trying to wrap this belt around himself three times. How many times is that? Twice, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Can you breathe? No, not really. It <laughs> Take it off. It's so long, this belt. Watch, I can't get it off. Right, you're stuck you're like have that. To cut it off. Oh, no oh. Fucking stomach. <laughs> oh my god, now I know how girls feel when they're wearing a girdle. Is that what it's called? <laughs> like, what girdle? is it? The waist thing? Yeah. yeah. Or like uh, a actually, waist I don't know. Dude, it doesn't even look like Frank anymore. I know. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So, you got any uh, biscuits and crumpets? Or what is it? Tea and crumpets? Crumpets? Crumpets. Crumpets? I don't know. Crumpets? Bro, that is the worst accent I've ever heard in my life. Okay, so, we have these training swords that somebody sent me and Frank wanted to try them out. So, so I'm going to be left-handed to make it easier yeah. on him. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. Yeah, yeah, you always turn your butt towards them. <laughs> Lands. When my parents get woken up, they're like sleeping right now. Yeah, it's. Come on, bro, charge it. <laughs> <gasps> Don't thump on the floor. Okay guys, it is getting super late right now, and I still haven't even started editing my vlog. That's what I'm about to do right now. Lizzie's over here still packing. We have to be up in actually a few hours to go to the airport. 
So I'm going to end the vlog here. If you guys did enjoy this video, smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Here it is, the CTSV. Look how sexy that thing is. You said you love it?